cook, she got the recipe She got what you need That girl can cook, that black girl magic I gotta have it Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make what I call lazy lasagna y'all. It ain't nothing but lasagna in a skillet, okay? So look, let's go ahead and jump right into it and let's get started. Alright y'all, so to start this recipe off, you are going to need 8 to 10 lasagna sheets, okay? These are not oven ready lasagna sheets, these are just regular lasagna sheets, okay? And we're going to crush them into smaller pieces. If you prefer to cook them first, you can do that and cut them later. I'm just going to crush them up now and boil them now because that, it's easy that way, okay? So look, once you get them crushed up, you want to take them and you want to boil them until they're nice and firm in salted water, okay? So once you get that done, just set them to the side because that's all you got to do. You follow your package instructions on that, okay? So look, let's go ahead and get working on this meat and this sauce. So here I have about two to three tablespoons of olive oil and it's over medium heat. And I have one diced shallot. Now, you know, I love onions. It would have been more if I didn't have small children eating this meal. However, put you some shallots over in there, some onions, honey. Get Add a little more than what I added, okay? I also added in a pound of ground beef. And if you like, you could add pork or Italian sausage, okay? And if you want to add more meat, you can do that as well. I'm only using a pound here. So we're going to use about two tablespoons of seasoned salt, okay? I want to make sure that the meat is seasoned because we don't want bland food. I'm also using a teaspoon of black pepper. And we're going to give that a quick mix, okay? You want to make sure that there is no pink in your ground beef, all right? No pink at all, none whatsoever. This is not a steak. This is ground beef. Cook it through. All right, so once you get that cooked up, you're gonna take it and you're going to remove it and strain it and set it aside until we need it later. We're gonna put it back in our sauce, okay? But make sure you get all that extra grease off of it. We don't need all that, all right? So look, I'm going back in with another shallot. Like I said, I got small kids eating. If you wanna add more onion, you can. I also added two tablespoons of minced garlic. I don't know how I missed that, but I did add it in there, okay? So add you some garlic in as well as a 28 ounce can of crushed tomatoes now listen if you don't want to go through the steps of making your own sauce honey you could just get you some jarred sauce and call it a day but why would you do that okay so get you 28 ounces of uh crushed tomato and it's very thick it's kind of pasty and we're gonna loosen this up just a little bit by taking that same can putting a little bit of water in there halfway okay just half the can of water and pouring it over into our mixture now I use water if you have some beef broth on hand you can use that as well all right so we're gonna season this up because it don't taste like much of nothing I don't know if y'all ever had crushed tomatoes but you should taste it you're gonna see that it tastes very terrible so you got to season it we're adding one to two tablespoons of seasoned salt I'm also gonna add in one tablespoon of onion powder we're gonna hit it with a little bit of that garlic powder another tablespoon of that okay and we're gonna also add in some good old black pepper. Just one teaspoon if you wanna add more honey. Go ahead, ain't nobody gonna stop you. Y'all know that by now, right? Good. Now, this is not jarred sauce. You gotta add sugar to cut that acidity down, okay? One fourth cup of sugar, if it's too sweet for you, don't add as much. If you like it sweeter, add a little bit more. And there, I'm just adding in some fresh oregano, okay? Cause why not? We wanna brighten this sauce up, okay? So, I'm also gonna add in a teaspoon of crushed red pepper. That is optional. You don't want to add that in. You could definitely leave that out as well as the cooked ground meat. Okay. Now I bet a lot of y'all going to say that ain't enough meat. Let me tell you something. <clears throat> well, some might say, well, let me tell you, if you want your, uh, this recipe here to not be dry, you need to have a little bit more sauce than you have meat. Trust me when I tell you, or your noodles going to be dry. Everything's just going to be dry and it's not going to be good. You'll see the end. Okay. But once you do that, add in your ground meat, add in your cooked noodles, you see the pasta is there, and just mix it up, give it a good mix, okay? And here I'm adding in some cream cheese. Y'all probably saying, what is, what? Yes, cream cheese, because I don't like ricotta. I just don't, okay? Now if you like ricotta, you can add in ricotta, but I'm using cream cheese as my substitute. And if you don't wanna add none of that, you don't have to, all right? So we're gonna sprinkle some mozzarella and some provolone on top just to make this nice and cheesy and gooey because baby, <laughs> what is lasagna without cheese? Absolutely nothing, okay? So get your cheese on top, make sure it covers the entire top 
And I'm also gonna add a little Italian seasoning because I'm fancy, right? <laughs> okay, and look, you can cover this on the stove and let it just simmer until the cheese melts or you can broil it in the oven until the cheese is melted. I'm choosing to broil it because I want my cheese to have a nice crust and honey, look. <laughs> look at that. Ain't God good. <laughs> look, let's go ahead and plate it up. And guys, this is what I call lazy lasagna. Let me tell you, it's done in less than 30 minutes. It's delicious and it's kid friendly. You cannot beat that, okay? So look, if you try this recipe out, I want you to let me know down in the comments, okay? And I want to thank you guys for watching as always. Thank you for supporting my channel. I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. And like I said, if you try it out, let me know, okay? And I'll see y'all next time in the next video.